Hey, hey, good people, Arthur Moore is here. I hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at multiplying rational expressions involving quadratics with leading coefficients greater than one, greater than one. Uh, so uh, the key here is going to be to factor, factor and simplify. Now, for the 14x squared plus x minus three, then we have a little bit extra work to do. So let's come out here and use the AC method. Sorry about all of that noise. Let's come out here and use the AC method to factor 14x squared plus x minus 3. Let's see here. So AC method, the first thing we start off with is 14 times uh, negative 3. So 14 times negative 3, we have negative 42. First times the last. And we want to find factors of negative 42 that gives us a sum of the middle coefficient, which is understood to be 1. All right, so um, we can see that that should be positive 7 and negative 6. So 7 times negative 6 is negative 42. 7 minus 6 is 1. Or 7 plus negative 6 is 1. So 7 and negative 6 is what we're going to use. So I'm going to stay over here and factor this out. So I have 14x squared. I'm going to rewrite the 1x in the middle to 7x and negative 6x or negative 6x plus 7x and then keep the minus 3. That was the last term there. And then remember from there we make two groups. So 14x squared minus 6x plus 7x minus 3. After two groups, factor out the GCF of each group. So we have 2x, 14x squared divided by 2x is 7x. 6x divided by 2x is simply 3. Uh, 7x minus 3, there's nothing I can factor out from there, so I must factor out an, a 1 when we're factoring by grouping. There's no other factor. All right, and then finish the problem off. I have the common binomial of 7x minus 3 that I want to factor out. That leaves me with 2x plus 1 to go in the other parentheses. Okay. All right, so for that numerator, that's 7x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. For my denominator, my first denominator there, I have a GCF of 4. So I need to factor out a 4 from the 4x and the 8. So if I divide each one of those by 4, that leaves me with x minus 2. Other numerator, there's nothing I can factor out. My denominator, my second denominator there is 49x squared minus 9. So I have the difference of two perfect squares, subtraction of two perfect squares. So 7x plus 9, 7x plus 3 times 7x minus 3. So this all comes down a lot of this comes down to factoring, factoring using your factoring methods. So make sure you continue to practice on factoring. After we have it complete, everything completely factored, then we look for the common factors. Remember binomials cancel with like binomials. So this seven X minus three in my numerator will cancel with the seven X minus three in my denominator. The X minus two in my numerator will cancel with the X minus two in my denominator. And I don't have any other like factors, common factors. So now I can write my answer out. So all I have left in my numerator is 2x plus 1. Since I don't have any other factors, I don't have to put that in parentheses. In my denominator, I have 4 times 7x plus 3. So 4 times 7x plus 3. All right, again, so again, it's all about factoring and simplifying. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.